excellent connection. Let's do it right now. Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every single day at 2 o'clock and give you my honest thoughts on how it's being ran. So come join in next time. Today we're checking out Castles of Mad King Ludwig, the Collector's Edition. Now the first thing I want to mention is right now I have this just on games. Not on tabletop games, but on games, period. Which means you're competing you know, with uh, video games and all sorts of different stuff. Number two, that's impressive. That tells me that you are keeping your backers engaged and coming back to the Kickstarter in one way, shape, or form. Now, another thing that I think some people might think is a negative is that Primal the Awakening kind of stole some of your luster there with its one point bajillion dollars. But I almost think like it's not that big of a deal because it's such counter-programming. If you're familiar with that term, like the movie term, like, you know, when they release Star Wars, they might release like a really, you know, hardcore, like romantic movie. And it's like, oh, Eduardo, you know, like that, like that sort of like, oh, like because it's called counter-programming. Like it's, and I feel like this is counter-programming for that because, you know, Castles of Mad King Ludwig, it is a very familiar uh, warm hoodie. It's a game that is a good to great game in most people's eyes. And, you know, I see this here, funded in three minutes, it looks nice, I like the artwork, fantastic new art, premium components, two new expansion, game trays, and more. And I love this, they clearly know where that character limit is, and they put everything in there, they squeeze it all in there, all that stuff I want to know as a gamer, I like it. Very appealing window, because we're window shopping now on Kickstarter. Alright, I backed it for a buck, tell everybody that I was doing this, funded in three minutes, let's check it out. Designer Ted Osbach is bringing fans of the castle's imagined Ludwig, the collector's edition they've been waiting for, featuring all new gorgeous detailed artwork. Wow. A dual-sided recess scoreboard Ooh. and swan player markers. Ooh, recess scoreboard, yeah. Yeah, Bezia Games knows what we want. Game trays <laughs> Are those poker chips? Are those All poker chips? In addition to two brand new ones, oh. Royal Decrees, which introduces oh. metric player abilities, and the Towers expansion. Oh, and minis! A of rooms with matching custom painted tower miniatures. Upgrading to the Royal <laughs> level will add intricately detailed metal. Oh, stop and it! Poker chip favors. Stop smooth it! Smooth plastic swan tokens. Oh, so smooth. Players looking for a larger than life experience should consider the colossal set of additional rooms, which are four times larger. Whoa, they're so big! Green Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition, home <laughs> to your kingdom this year. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right. So, you know, I try and do this on a three-point scale. I'm going to try and organize this show better. Do uh, what every Kickstarter needs to do. It needs to do the three points. It make. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? So, do I want it? Yeah, absolutely. Can you do it? I already feel comfortable. I know Bezier Games. 16 created, 201 backs. Warm security blanket. They've got tons of success. I don't even need to click on it. And how much does it cost? So, I'm hoping that is the first thing we get to here. Because those are the three that you need to hit early. So, hopefully we get to the price. I don't have to dig over here on the right side. In 2014, Castles of Mad King Ludwig brought out the interior designer and all of us with a unique combination of mechanisms and opportunity to be a visionary architect at work. I love the fact that they are addressing this almost exclusively to hobby gamers. Like, this is not bringing in new people, potentially. And it might be. But, like, it, it, I don't feel like that's where the scope is aimed right now. And I feel like that is a smart decision to go for that potential market. I really do because, that, I mean, that's who's going to buy the game, to be honest with you. Because while I do, I absolutely love, love Castles of Mad King Ludwig. The auction system is just, oh, it's so good. Uh, it's just not a gateway game, in my personal opinion, in any way, shape, or form. It, 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 it has concepts on top of concepts, which can be confusing. So I like where they're appealing here. So featuring all this good stuff, hit me with the price. Hit me with the price. Oh, that looks so good. So easily sortable. Very nice. Artwork awesome i'm sold i saw it in the video i already know it <laughs> i just want to know the price oh recoil decrees are so good towers look at those towers oh a scoreboard love it because that was the one thing uh, i remember scoring scoring i think was confusing for some people 
uh, if you weren't like good at like uh, the, the eight plus eight plus six plus four, 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 four minus twelve plus six twelve plus three thing uh, rules. Oh, look at those rules! Look at those rules! That right there might be the prettiest looking rules section I've ever seen. Just wow! Look at this beautiful cover. Look at this gorgeous setup. You want to set up this game? The colors that the Look at oh, look how quick and simple we're going to make it here with the player counts here and the things that highlighted with different colors and pictures and illustrations and examples and it's just icing on the cake on the can you do it factor and you're gonna do it dang well royal upgrades upgrade to the royal level and replace cardboard components with beautiful intricate metal coins oh stop it but I want the price already just hit me with the price I want you I want you don't tease me just hit me with the price. I'll take the pill, I'll swallow the pill, I'll open my wallet, let's get down to it. You, 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 you wooed me. Alright, Castle's Mad King Level, great. Dan, Tantrum House, awesome. Dice Tower, odd. Uh, not the thumbnail? Huh. Odd. YouTube thing, whatevs. Pledge One Collector, here we go, this is, this is the price, right? Pledge One Collector, cool, $99. I'm totally fine with that totally fine with that for what i'm what i feel like i'm getting myself into uh i don't want i you know you made me find it you made me find it i feel like that should be just 99 is reasonable is 99 reasonable what has board games done to me is 99 dollars reasonable the components are so nice and the it yes it is it's just so it's just so hard to say that like the the slow price creep of games and, 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 and just splitting hairs on, is this a good cost for a game? Because, you know, is it a minis game? But does it have cards? You know, it's just, ah, it's, it's making, it's murkying up the water so much. Pledge to Royal, Royal versus Collector. Let's see. Hopefully I'm very easily able to understand what's the difference between one and two. Let's see. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> All right, includes. Uh, okay, okay, so it's just uh, adding the stretch goals. Awesome. Very nice. That's clean and clear because you know that sounds ridiculous. There are so many Kickstarters I've seen that are just like, it's not clean and clear. Make it simple. Plus, all unlock stretch goals. So I like that, uh, you know, and maybe even highlight it even bigger. Love it that, love it, love it. Pledge three, Colossal. What is this? Oh, is this the big one? Is this the big one? What is the big one? Does it give you two copies of the game? Because it looks like it gives you both the Collectors and the Colossal Edition. Because if that's the case, Extra excited. Uh, standard. Oh my gosh. It's so big. It's so big. Look at the comparison. I love the pictures you're using. It's so good. Oh, it really. Uh, oof, oof, yes. Uh, castles. Okay. Cool. Colossal. Just making it like a mega game. Hundreds, wait, 169 bucks? Okay. You know, that's that's about what the uh, the primal one was for the base game. And I say, you know, if I'm the kind of person who is thinking about this, so the money is not the big factor here, potentially, uh, and I want this, I think that's reasonable. Stretch goals. Cool. Hit me with the stretch goals. I'd like the stretch goals earlier. Okay, so that's, that's something that I totally would do. And granted, you're number two on games. So, you know, what the hell do I know? You, you probably have better metrics. You've been doing this way longer. But I personally just like to see stretch goals higher. Like, once you hit that funding goal, get me excited. Get me engaged. Get me coming back to see what's going on. Uh, because that video, honestly, the video was so well done. I'm in. I don't need you. I feel like you're telling me too much. Too much. I'm in after that first video. I played this game once at my buddy Larry's house, had a blast of a time. Now I got a lot of disposable income. I thought, why not plop down $200? Let me know $200 right from the gate. Just bam, right there. I'm in. I love it. Uh, so I would, I would put this higher, great, and I would, I would maybe get the price point to me just a little bit earlier. Because I don't think it's bad. I honestly thought it was going to be way higher than this. I thought there was going to be like somehow $400, $600, crazy small world type shenanigans. And I'm not seeing those shenanigans. I'm seeing, say, hey, these are expensive. But they're reasonable, expensive prices, I do think, for board games. And uh, I, would, I would highlight that. So, extra things, awesome. Have you hit these? I would, I would say hit. Like, we got we to gotta update this graphic design. This, this area, I would lift it up. Because, yeah, we're way past that, aren't we? 
Castles of Mad King Ludwig. This is the easiest way to do it. I swear it is. Kickstarter. Oh my gosh. I should just click one of those. I just panicked. I panicked. Uh, because, yeah, if you've hit stretch goals, let me know you hit them. 619. Okay. 100K. Smashed it. Purple cabinet. Washed it. 300 bashed it. You know, I should be getting excited about this. I should say, oh, we got that. We got these extra tiles. We got this thing now. We got that thing now. Six, yeah, I would, I would, I would put this the star of the show. You know, it's no longer about the cake. I want the icing. Painting room, shell over. This is great. Good stuff. But I, I'd bump it up. Unique moat artwork. What is this? Okay, social stretch goals. Cool. These are really cool social stretch goals. Wow. And they're showing the numbers. The metric. 16,982 followers reached. That's awesome. 250 re Twitter retweets. Excellent. Excellent. This is this is great. This is great stuff. I almost feel like it should maybe be higher too. Like you're to the you're to the point now. You know, where it's like we're not about getting out of the starting block anymore. We're about getting the word out. You know? And, and I almost feel like this is the kind of stuff that's going to get people engaged. Like we can we can earn goodies to make this game better. Love it. Shipping. Love it. Looks looks pretty. I want to explore your shipping right now. A lot of times the shipping, I don't want to see it. It's scary. Look at this. Look how inviting this shipping section is. Have you seen a more inviting shipping section? Let me know in the comments below. I I want to take a stroll through this garden of shipping information, and now we got words. Okay, lots of words, but I get to the numbers, and I see 23, 23, 34. It's crystal clear! Yes! Yes! We did it! Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Yes, this is it. So let's go over it. Do I want it? Yes, your video completely nailed me. Can you do it? Obviously. I know you can do it. You're a proven company. How much is it? You were, uh, you got me the shipping. You got me this. Clean and clear. Giving it a two. Because I always do a zero, one, or two. Either keep going if it's a zero, one, back in the last uh, 48 hours, or check it out in the last 48 hours, then a two, back it for the whale. And this is a reasonable price. Hopefully this looks good over here. So this is the just the base game, whatevs. Got the big dog, and then you got your whale. And your whales, yeah, this is nice and clean and clear. I love it. I love it. This is what I want. So well done. Excellent. Excellent. But the only thing I would say, put, this, put that price a little bit earlier. Because I feel like your, your price right now, and here's, here's what it is. Here's what it is. If I'm looking at this game, I feel like there's a very safe assumption to say that I, I might have I might have looked at Primal a little bit too. You know, Primal the Awakening. The big, big, big one we were talking about at the beginning that's like $1.6 million or something. There's a good chance that I clicked on it out of curiosity. I said to myself, oh my gosh, it's so expensive. $330 for the whale, blah, 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 blah. And then I come over here to this board game that I know it's familiar and I say, okay, $169, it's reasonable. Plus with the shipping, it's what's going to be $200. You know, this is, this is a once, you know, this is a once every kind of couple years sort of special splurge on myself because Castles of Mad King Lugwork is a game that I really enjoy and I don't own. And that sort of situation, you get yourself people talking themselves in into buying the game and and and, and it's it's just you, you ooh, it's so good but I, I would say highlight that 204 dollars to your door in the united states of america and you're gonna have this absolutely gorgeous bad boy if that's what that price ended up being you know i would um because i think as counter programming <laughs> as dumb as it is if i had you know tens of thousands of dollars to spend as disposable income let's say and, and, and i saw these two kickstarters and i said to myself wow i don't want to miss on i don't want to miss out on both of them do i because those games look amazing. They look like they could have, uh, you know, multiple amazing experiences that I could have with both my friends and with strangers like this. The Castles of the Mad King Ludwig. I see this as a potential convention game. Like a cool little play giant. It's a Mad King Cat Wing Ludwig game. Like, I see this as such an awesome game to have in my collection. I see that completely. And then I see the same thing with Primal as well. And I say to myself, I don't want to miss out on both of them. I'm going to back one of them. And I feel like... Uh, you know, maybe the $204 is a little bit easier pill to swallow. I, I think I would just be more upfront with the price because I don't think it's as bad as it sounds, partially because Primal's so much bigger right next to you. I think it's like bulletproof armor right there, as odd as that is. If that analogy made some sense, please let me know in the comments below. Reimagine scoreboards. 
Uh, but those are the tangents I go with. Yes. Yeah, so we've already looked at this. I want to look at the comments. Yes. Let's see how we're handling the customer service aspect of this, the updates. It's number two. Now, that's another thing I actually want to highlight here, which I find kind of interesting. Uh, with this one, I say day two of 14, and it feels like an event. Like, oh, man, I got to get in on this. What's this thing? Day two of 14. I don't want to miss this. Fear of missing out. Whereas this, it says fun to three minutes. Like, oh, wow, that's spectacular. I'm not going to miss out on it. You know, like, it just, I don't know. I kind of like that banner. I'm just, I'm talking out loud. I kind of like that banner. I think that banner kind of gets me a little bit. All right, two updates. FAQ, 14, popping. What are the box sizes? Excellent. So these are actually good questions. Sometimes you see garbage questions in the FAQ. I hate when I see garbage questions in the FAQ. And it's like, why is the shipping so high? And it's like just some generic answer. Like this is when there's specifics. Will this edition be available in any of the languages? What are the box sizes? Yes, I want the approximate. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So if I absolutely need to know this, great. Great. These are very specific questions that board gamers have. They're next level questions, and I love it. It shows experience, and it goes to that factor of can you do it? And it makes me feel more comfortable about that. Updates over 569 pledged on day two. Amazing day. So that's an amazing second day. Wow. That's, uh, that's great. Great, great, great. Fun in three minutes. So let's see. 5317. Okay, let's check the comments. 798. It's a good chunk of comments. Why are people engaged? What are we keeping them back for? We got the stretch goals that we're trying to hit, but I don't feel like the stretch goals are being highlighted enough. So I get back to that point where, you know, uh, the middle of the pledge, you know, you're about to start hitting that wasteland because it's a peak. And then it's like, and then the last 48 hours, it's a peak again. But you got to try and do some stuff in the middle. And I feel like those stretch goals, those are your, your, those are your ace in the hole. Those should be the big reveals because, like, what Primal's doing is they're unleashing something every single day, and I want to know. Like, I looked at Primal yesterday. I, I obviously am never going to be able to afford that game, but I still kind of want to see what the next up oh, the, the next thing coming out is. I'm intrigued. I'm coming back. Maybe I'm convincing myself that you know what? I absolutely cannot miss this experience with my family. I need to get this game. Look at it from the inner psyche point. Uh, hopefully, I, I think you should totally. Make the stretch goals a, a bit of a bigger hitter. Let's look at the updates, too. Hopefully this is talking about the stretch goals a good deal here. Uh, we're unlocking it. And just this, the, yes, excellent, excellent. The two to equip, yes, this is what I'm talking about. So I love the update. It is talking exactly what I want it to talk about, which is stretch goals, how you've already backed this game. You want this game, and now we have a special opportunity to make this game absolutely spectacular. Give them the opportunity to do that. Let the people earn that and they will try to earn that and i feel like you should be spotlighting that a little bit more just that the stretch goals uh on the, the kickstarter page i read the update and it doesn't cover any shipping to canada why to, okay why shipping to canada so much all right this one's uh 14 minutes ago understand why it's not done it hey there's me hey uh any more info on favorite chips poker chips have a wide range in quality will we be closer to casino quality and thickness weight and texture or simply thin plastic discs Poker chips, uh, that might be a, a good one to put on the FAQ as well. I feel like that could be a potential, like, uh, great question to put on the FAQ. Should we check? Should we check? How good is Bezia Games? How good is Bezia Games? I know they're dang good, but if they already added this. Uh, can I add poker chips? Poker chips. Let's see. Information on poker chips. Player color sets. Doesn't talk about the poker chips. I put it there, then. Totally. Totally, because that's going to be some people want to know about the poker chips. People that are buying this is like a two hundred. Like if it's a two hundred dollar game, I want to know what I'm buying. I want to know the ins, the outs. I want to feel extra good about every single component. Dang, two hundred dollars. But then again, I feel like Small World, that Small World Deluxify. People still talk about how much they want it now. I feel like that's going to add the intensity in people's belly to be like, I can't miss this. Uh, please print it in German as well. Up to the FAQ. Awesome, on point. I see them responding to a lot of different things. This is great. Good, good, looking good. Okay, looks like great customer service going on here. And in the end, definitely give it a two. I think it's spectacular. I definitely don't think it's perfect, though. I, I, I just, so let's let's do it one last time. I want to see how long it takes me to get to the price. So I watched this video. I'm completely wowed by your spectacular video. And I'm here. And I'm like, I just, I, I already know it's great. I know it's great. How much it's gonna cost me? 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 No, it's great. I, cool, all this good stuff. Hey, Dan, what's up? Uh, oh, price, bam! Like, how far do I have to scroll to get to that? I feel like we just gotta we gotta get to that a little bit earlier. I don't know why. Uh, I just I just I always feel like getting that price point out of the way because I don't feel like it's that bad of a price point. I think it's I think it's pretty dang reasonable for 
knowing that, yes, you, in fact, are going to be able to do this. And uh, so I don't have any I don't have any faith. Or I have complete faith in everything else. You did everything else so well that I think the price slides through there. But there you go. That has been today's Kickstarter critique of Castles of Mad King Ludwig. We went real deep on that one. Excellently ran. Excellently ran, though. Absolutely. Mwah. Hats off on that one. Good job. And it shows. 16 created. You learn from Kickstarter to Kickstarter to Kickstarter. Because here's the other thing. I want you to really go scroll through some. And I want you to find some companies that are sitting down here in the, the, the $20,000, $40,000 range. Uh, you know, and their games are successful and they're good. And, and, and see how many they raised. So maybe they made like 10, 11, 12. Uh, some companies, just they just pick up more from their Kickstarters. And they, they learn more from every single Kickstarter. Because Kickstarter is just such an entirely different beast. And you have to come into it with such a weird, different mindset. Uh, and so I love seeing when companies have just, are, they're nailing it. They're on their peak. And, I, and right now, like, I tell you what, the next Bezier game Kickstarter that comes up, I'm going to want to do it day one. Because I already know I'm going to love it. It's going to be spectacular. I'm going to be able to gush on it because I see just spectacular bones here. You know, you can put different meat for different games on here. But the bones, mm, very well ran company. Hats off. So there you go. That was, that was a long-winded, loquacious one. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Woo! Ha, ha, ha.